Hey guys, welcome to our video on the Fluval E heater. In fact, this is not a new product for Fluval. We've cut videos on this heater before. We've recently received some additional questions on this heater about its operation and troubleshooting. So we figured we'd review it and cut a video for you today. Over the next few scenes, we're gonna be getting into operating tips for this heater. I've got the E50 over here, which we're gonna use as a demonstrate for demonstration purposes. And of course, there's three other models in the line, E100, 200, and 300. Now, the first thing you gotta do when you're, uh, when you're setting up this heater is locate it properly, and that means finding an area where there's good water flow. You wanna make sure that the water flow is directed at the side of the cage, the top of the side half of the cage, as the two sensors, which we're gonna show you in a second, uh, are located in that area. The heater is microprocessor controlled, new generation of electronic heater. Let's show you those two micro sensors, it's very easy to do. Just put this little flathead screwdriver underneath this slot right here, lift and then push the uh, head of the heater out of the way, exposing the tube. The two sensors are located right over there. When it comes to adjusting the heater, there are some additional features built into the heater. Now we have a bracket that clips into the back of the heater module. And uh, on this bracket, of course, you've got three slots to position suction cups. The heater can be moved on this bracket up or down, simply by pressing on the little clip on each side, and then you can slide it up or down. Now, uh, if, for example, to locate the heater in an area of better water flow, you want to do it at an angle, it's also possible. The suction cups are not in the bracket at the moment. You take these clips and you insert them where those suction, clubs, suction cups go. Here you would now insert in the angle bracket the actual suction cups. So you can see that if that is against the, the glass, your heater will now be held outward at an angle. When it comes to selecting a temperature, it's very important to consider what the ambient room temperature is. Now, while the E-series of heaters does allow you to choose a wide range of temperatures, it is very important to be aware of what the ambient temperature is. And the reason is, for example, if the range, if you want to heat the aquarium up, meaning that your ambient room temperature is less than what you're dialing in your heater at, or your aquarium set temperature will be at, you have to be within 10 degrees Fahrenheit. If you exceed that difference, then you will have to heat up your room or select a heater that's actually more powerful. If, for example, your room temperature is above what your aquarium set temperature is, well, then your only option is really to cool your room down. The heater obviously cannot cool the aquarium. Now, the reason we mention this right now is because we want to talk to you a little bit about the ViewTech system. The ViewTech system has three different colors. There's blue for when your aquarium water temperature is uh, one degree out of range or more uh, if it is cooler. So you will see that display. If the temperature is exactly the set temperature, ViewTech will show you that it is green. And if the temperature display is red, it means your actual water temperature is one degree Celsius or two degrees Fahrenheit higher than what the set temperature is on the heater. We have actually had some situations where room temperatures were actually above the set temperature and people were wondering why the ViewTech display was showing red. Well, that's because the monitor is accurately telling you that the water temperature tank is higher. As additional protection with your E-Series heater, the ViewTech system will actually flash when the temperature is three degrees Celsius or 5.5 degrees Fahrenheit, either above or below your aquarium set temperature. So bear that in mind, it'll actually be flashing on and off. Now some people have asked, is it continue to heat, for example, if there's a flashing blue light when the temperature is below? And the answer to that is, yes it will. It will be heating to bring the temperature up. Next, we're going to cover some specific troubleshooting queries that have come our way. We're going to give you a hand with that. Now, the first one is the low flow warning or an LF flashing display on the ViewTech system. That actually is telling you that there is an insufficient water movement around the heater protective cage. The microprocessor is not reading it properly. So for that, it's simply a matter of repositioning your heater or directing your filter output directly at the side of the cage to improve that situation. 
Another question we hear from time to time is, what is the E1 flashing on the screen of my heater? Well, that's actually an error code that is produced by the microprocessor when it's determined that there's an operating condition outside the normal protocol. Well, that is often related to the water level in your aquarium that's become a little bit lower due to evaporation. Simply top up your aquarium to the minimum water line of the heater cage. Now, once that's done, unplug, replug the heater and take note of the fact that during the time you see the display flashing, while well, the heater is actually not producing any heat as a specific safety protocol. Another safety feature of the e heater that you should be aware of is the fact that if it is removed from the water, within 40 seconds the auto shut off feature will cut power to the heater. To re-engage the heater, simply place it back in the aquarium. There's no overstating the importance of choosing a reliable heater like the E-Series heater. We hope we've addressed all the questions you may have on this line of heaters. If you got any others, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.